Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy XVick here and today we are going to be talking about Sub Rogue, um, Knife A. A lot of people have been asking me and I'm now coming out with the video. Um, if we go in the conduits, I'd say the main ones that you want to be going, you would usually go this way, but since I'm only renowned, you know, 9, we are going to be going this way first and then we'll swap whenever we get to, you know, down to here. So, Cloaked in the Shadows, really good. Insanely good. Probably the best talent. Automatically, 100%, you need it. Why do you need it? Basically, whenever you stealth, you get a shield around you for bleeds and everything. If you don't have it, it's basically like this. You have any you have any dot on you, and you automatically come back out. With this, you take the damage. Um, Rush setup, really good, I'd say. I mean, some people would rather have this than this, but I don't know. The energy cost of kidney shot, cheap shot, sap, and distract are reduced by 26%, which is really good whenever you're going for burst setups. Septic shock is really, or seps, yeah, septic shock is really good, but I'd say probably go with this. Um, once I get down the list, I will be, you know, going over what the best in slot is, because I I just swapped, so I'm not really sure. I haven't been really looking up anything. So that's basically that for now. So for your startup definitely go with the cloaked and brushed now if you had the full list you would be going this way down obviously let's see here you'd be going down this way so you go bam 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 put cloaked here and then um, so you most likely would be going down this one your hitting spells and abilities have applied now yeah, this is really good. So you'd be going like this. Bam, bam. And then you go down to here and then there. So, enough about the conduits. Let's talk about the talents. This will be what your normal talent tree will look like. You can swap stuff around, but for 2v2 situations, it's going to look like this. Now, you can, you know, if you're playing with a healer, a looseness is obviously going to be better. Cheat death is mainly used against rogue mage if you're too scared to, like, think you're going to get blown up or something. Subterfuge. I'd use it in threes, or maybe with a healer, but other than that, nice stalker. It's just much better. Dark Shadow and Daggers and Dark. Now, I use this when I'm boosting sometimes, like if I'm facing a monk. Sometimes it can be good to use, sometimes it can, you know, not help me at all. Would I use this in a 2v2 with an actual good partner? No. But, um, would you be using this if you're boosting? Yes, you would. It's basically an instant, uh, decimate amount of damage you'll just a hundred of them instantly then again if they have trinket pop a defensive you have no cds and you're kind of screwed so i definitely go with this setup probably your best go like i said you could probably switch loose from this for healers cheat death if you're getting one shotted subterfuge if you're playing threes so basically if you're playing threes you're automatically gonna it's gonna look like this just how your talent tree will look but um, for 2v2, I like to have these. PP tones usually stays the same. These are your three main. Like I said, the ones that you probably might want to switch around is like daggers in the dark, maybe. But other than that, the rest are pretty garbo. So there's that. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. Now we're going to be talking about the rotation. So I have a macro set right here that pops symbols and shadow dance. It's basically for an opener so that you can get a cooldown with them thinking you're using damage. So you always want a macro that has that. You don't want to automatically pop everything. So I have this, it pops symbols, shadow dance. I usually get trinket. Then you reset, get a restealth, and then you still have your rest of your damage. So we're going to be talking about the opener here. And what your opener is going to be looking like is it's going to be a cheap shot into a um, shadow Dance. It's going to be your macro here that gives you symbol Shadow Dance. And then you're going to Sepsis, Shadow Strike. Now, you can either you can go for the Eviscerate and then Cheap Shot. So it'll be something like this. See, by the time that Cheap Shot turns, you're done. Remember, you're not going for a kill, you're going for CDs. So right there, you, what I did was I Cheap Shot. Um, I cheap shot, and then I use my macro symbols, shadow dance. Then I shadow strike, 
eviscerate mark for death eviscerate and then would cheap shot and then shadow strike again uh, you see how I still have sinful cool blood shadow blades and you'll have symbols up again you'll have a shadow dance you'll have all your cooldowns except sepsis so it's basically just a as soon as you get to him CC so he's playing with his partner sapping or whatever you want to see him like usually a lot of people do full candy but you don't really need to do that till about 2300 CR, so you should be chilling. So, as soon as you're on the one target, so you're 1v1 and now, the guy's CC'd. So it's 1v1, cheap, do your macro, shadow strike, eviscerate, or, er, my bad, cheap shot, macro, sepsis, shadow strike, eviscerate, mark for death, eviscerate, cheap shot, shadow strike, and then you can probably just eviscerate again. Honestly, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably just stack up again so you can full Kenny the healer. So it looks something like this. Uh, let me get sepsis again. And I'd show you how it normally looks. We're gonna put him on set focus here. Actually it's probably not even good, but it's fine. Because they're both the same. Okay, so we're going to cheap shot macro. And then we're gonna go for the reach heap. He's still gonna be CC. You're gonna stack up and then you're gonna full Kenny and then you're gonna keep attacking. And you'll have blind, all that good stuff. Basically, after your, your Kenny falls, you want to be out of there. He's going to use a major cooldown. If you and your teammate are attacking him, he's going to use something. Automatically, it's no doubt in my mind that he will use some type of cooldown. Now, when you use your burst go, that'll be on the second go. So you got your, you got your CDs. So you, you, if you're playing with a mage, which you probably should be as a rogue. Or a healer. I'd probably play with the mage. We'll, we'll say in this situation you're going to be playing with the mage. And he's going to be bursting him at the same time you are. And he'll get the sheep off your sheep, off your sap. Most likely. So before you kidney, he'll re sheep. So you'll get an extra three seconds. So while you're doing that stuff, as soon as that sheep ends, you'll full kin him. While the mage is still attacking with you. And you're going to get some cooldowns right there. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. So you get the cooldowns. Then you're going to reset, maybe vanish if you have to, and then you're going to do the same thing over, but this time, you're going to wait for the DRs to go off, your healer's going to get a sheep, and then you're going to go again, popping your macro that pops everything. So it pops your trinket, cool blood, symbols, shadow blade, shadow dance, and all in one. And then you're going to do the same opener, but with everything. It's pretty simple, it looks something like, so he gets sheep, then you'll go like this. Cheap shot again. There's usually you don't want to make spaces, so whenever you're queuing with an actual partner, it's better to not queue spaces. Spaces are where whenever you cheap shot, they have that like one second of out of this stun that they can do something. Whenever you're doing 2v2, it's the best to uh, read cheap shot without. It's better to do the da or the stuns other than doing damage when you have two people. Unless it's your burst go, then it's probably best to just keep doing damage. But usually you don't want to keep st um, stun DRs, so you want to. Stun him, do damage, and see how it's stunned again, he got that one second like this. One second before it ends, you have to cheap shot him again, so he doesn't have any time to click anything. When you're with two people, just make sure you're not spacing your stun. So it'll look something like this, you cheap shot, doing damage, one second before, cheap shot again, cheap shot again. See, he had no time to do anything. When you're in a 2v2, make sure you're doing that, it's better to do the stun other than doing maximum damage. So, I'm going to get in some games here and show you guys what I'm talking about and then you have a, a brief idea of what I'm talking about. And I will see you guys in the arena. I will see you guys there. Hey guys, it's your boy. We're in the arena, and what I forgot to go over is your stats. Your stat wise will be going versatility and mastery for your main, and your legendary will be the 100% crit. So, make sure you guys get that done. I had the trinket, but you want to be going for the mastery and verse. So, we're, we're doing scrims here. Unfortunately, we couldn't really find a teammate for arenas, but it is fine. Basically, show you the opener. Um, same thing we talked about. With the dummies, we sap the off target or blind, any type of CC, and then we're gonna open with our um, off 
burst, you know, symbol, shadow dance, sepsis, shadow strike, basically that. He's most likely gonna shrink it. And I'm going to show you here briefly. My guy's gonna 1v1 him. Because he's a priest, and that guy's a weird. So his his is over there. So we're actually gonna blind this hunter. Blinding him here. We're gonna re-stealth. Basically just the same opener. He has died by the swords up, now he's off. Now we can click our burst buttons, because he's dead. And actually, we didn't click anything yet, so it's perfect. We're gonna get a restealth. Remember, try to get as many restealths as possible. My guy might die, but it's not a big deal. And then you click your burst here, and he just flops. Pretty simple. Not not hard. Um, I know it is a scrim, so you know you can always say they were bad or whatever you want to say. But. At the end of the day, it's pretty easy. Rogue Mage, any Rogue DPS comp is kind of just easy in general. Due to the fact that it's just not that hard. Obviously, with the healer, it would have been different. I would have sapped the healer, then we would have attacked the DPS. But, um, this will be for beginners. Because I'm just starting out Night Phase, so I'm not really... I'm just beginning as well. So, this is just to help you out. So, your stats will be Verse Mastery. The 100% crit legendary, and you're basically good to go. If you if you can get about 214 plus, you can be doing my damage pretty pretty simple. It's not hard, and it, I didn't even do that much damage in there. I just had my preset out there, sit and work on the warrior, and I just sat and stealth until the hunter came open. Pretty simple, not easy. I mean, it is easy. Um, your chance you want to be going for is the 30% stamina. Uh, you can get 30% on the Earth plus 30 here. I have the 20. I haven't got 30 yet. And then I have Mastery Verse. And then the Weapon Enchants. I just have both simple. And then the Feet. You can get 15%. Uh, 15 plus Agility. And we are in the arena, boys. I forgot to go over your stat-wise here. Hey boys, and we're in the arena. I forgot to go over your stat wise. It will be mastery verse, and then you want to be going over the 100% crit legendary. I know I did forget to mention that. Yes, we're in a scrim right now, so we couldn't really find a partner for twos rated, but it is all good. I have the enchants. Usually the enchants are pretty simple. I have both sinful, which you probably can get another one, and then the 20. You can probably just copy what I have down. It'll be down in the description. But verse mastery and then a hundred percent crit legendary. So we're just gonna do the same thing we talked about with the um with the dummies. So this is a DK right here, so we're going to sap him. I'm waiting for my guy to actually we can just tag him, so we're gonna do this. Sepsis. Just like that. He only had twenty eight K, but the rotation we didn't have to click. Any of our burst, and we've done pretty big damage. It was not bad at all. So we're going to open with the cheap shot on this guy. Now we're going to pop our real CDs because we already killed his teammate. We can stun. No, we can't stun again. I actually stunned nothing. Forgot. Okay, this is we're evasioning this damage, and pretty simple right there. Alrighty. We're going to be queuing it up again. I'm just going to queue up a few games to show you guys. Fortunately, I know that some of these clips will end up being cut. Um, I do apologize. Just let me know if you do not like me doing that. But I'm going to cut some of these games after the win, then talk about it. What we did in that game was basically I saw the Hunter's HP, 28k. Honestly. I knew I could have got his every cooldown just by using our one symbols and shadow dance and sepsis. So I went in, got everything. Unfortunately, he didn't trink it, so we kind of just, you know, killed him. That's basically how it goes when you come in with under 30k. And yeah, it's basically what you do for the opener. It's pretty, pretty easy. It's not hard. If you guys would like me to do some rated games, um, I can try to find a good mage. I don't really like looking for looking for group mages because it, 
majors nowadays and looking group it's kind of really hard it's not easy but we're going to be queuing two more and I'm going to be showing you guys what you can be doing I know it is double DPS so it's not going to help you too much for healer comps but it's basically the same thing you snap the off target or CCM and then you open okay we got two rogues here so we're doing double rogue I like his mog his mog's looking pretty dope So, same talents is what you want to be running, normal, whenever you're not, I don't really run one, run the one shot. Uh, here we're going to be going warrior. Basically we're going to have him go out first, hopefully, and then we're going to see what happens. we got to watch our stun DRs. I have the Gladius add-on, so off to the left of him, it'll say their stun DR, which is really good. You need this. I will link all the add-on that you probably want. Three main ones, big debuffs, it'll save their CD on their face. Gladius, and you have big nameplates, so it'll show their CDs above their head whenever they use it. Okay, so my guy's out, which is on Forge. We're gonna stun him. Kill the flag. Okay, we can't sap. Fortunately. Okay, we're waiting for Dive of the Swords. Alright, guys, looks like he's not gonna get it. We got the restart, though. Which is fine. Basically, gonna sap him. He's gonna enrage here. Actually, he's holding it. Okay. We're gonna full king him this time. Pop some cooldowns. And he should die because he doesn't have Trinket. Trinket, and we got him. So our rogue's looking really in trouble right now. We're gonna need to re stealth. Just remember, use your cooldowns. Don't be scared to not do the rotation. If you do it wrong, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes, you know. Sometimes you can use stuff whenever. It does not really matter. It can matter, but like in that situation, there'd be no point of holding it. So we're going to attack his pet here. He's aim shotting us. He almost one shot us, which would have been really bad. Would have been terrifyingly bad. I didn't. I thought I was out the circle. I didn't even think I stepped in it. But I think if you're four steps out, okay. Well, he's probably gonna go get the eyes right now. I do not know. It is early in the morning for me, so my voice is a little bit. Not the best. See, this could be in a bad stage. He has no trinket, though, so we have to look out for that. Okay, so you kind of saw that coming from me. This, this hunter's playing very good. See, right there would have been better to stun. Fortunately, we cannot. He's going to be bursting me. We're gonna be blinding here. So we got the blind. We're still in a bad situation due to the fact that it is it is a hunter and he's basically just tearing my HP apart. Nothing I can do about it. We're gonna full kinny him. Hopefully we can get the restart. It'd be very nice. Got it. Fortunately his pet got me. And it's this is looking really bad. It's not looking good. I think it is over. Yeah. Unfortunately. So basically my rogue, um, he got out in the opener. We lost the 1v1. It happens. Not a big deal. I'm not going to clip anything due to the fact that I don't really care. I'm not trying. Just showing. What we could have done different there is I could have pre-evasion, or pre-vanished um, cloaked. Um, unfortunately... I got basically a hundred owed in less than a aim shot, so he aim shots me. It was an instant 10%. Uh, big damage. He played very good. I ran right into his stuff. He aim shotted me for 21k. That was his aim shot of cast ability. So he got big crits right there. 
21k aim shot, which is very insane. And yeah, what we could have done better there is obviously just play it smart, vanish. We evasion, which was good, but I should have evasion sooner. I just did not think he would have got a 2100, you know. That usually won't happen. That's just the biggest credit of this guy's lifetime. But we're going to roll it back up. We're going to get another dub. It's basically just the same rotation. Rogue can be boring. It's all about restealth. Reset, reset. It says 2100, so he does know how to play his class. you good. Let's go Priest. So we're going to be sapping the lock, and then we're going to go. Same rotation. You guys did see my Discord there, but that's alright. Not a big deal. By the way, I will actually showcase it. This is going to be my Twitch. Basically, I'll, I say whenever I go, I'm going live, uh, you can join it. It'll be the link down in the description. Go ahead and check it out. We might as well close this out. Go ahead and check it out. I'll have all everything linked in the description if you want to go check it. But um, we're not here for that right now. We're here to help you guys get better. So, same rotation. As soon as you get the CC off. I don't know if he's going to run in there. He may. I think he will. Not sure yet. So we're going to sap him. Same rotation. God disperse. Like I said, whenever you do this, you're going to get a cooldown. And regardless, it's just going to happen. We're going to slice and dice. We're going to blind here. It is DR because of his fear, which is not fine. We're going to restealth here. Got him. So we burst him there before he can swap if he's using it. Got this guy's defenses. Perfect. We're actually going to 1v1 him off my warrior. Actually, never mind, we're not. Pre evasion. Okay, now we, we played it smart. Do not want to get Chaos Bolt there. He had every cooldown up. If he got that Chaos Bolt, it would have been very, very bad. Okay, he has the Infernal up, so. Cannot really open. 1v1 situation, which we can win. He has no defenses, no trinket. We just got to wait for the Infernal. This is his big damage ability. You might not believe it, but if you can see the damage, it just the hitting alone will hit for 4k. 4 to 6k. Very big damage. So, we're going to be opening with a... Actually, we're going to wait for the cool ADs here. He has no trinket, so we can open with everything we got. We're going to wait for steps. As soon as that comes out, then we're going to open. We have Cloak, which means we can Cloak the Stun, which is really good. He has an Inferno up again, which is kind of unfortunate, but he has no defense form. We're going to wait for him to get the eyes, and then we're going to open. Okay, now. Restun him. We smoke bomb, and then we... We got away LOS, so we get a free LOS, a free, uh... And we cloak the stun, so there's nothing you can do about it. Pretty simple. Just like that. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, this is for beginning guys. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you check out the other videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. There will be a more in-depth video, depending on how this video does. But um, link in the description, go check it out. It'll check out the recent videos, all that stuff. Peace out, boys.